Chandra Namaskar. A moon salutation practice. Find your space where you will be unimpeded and uninterrupted. Lay out your mat and gather any props that you like to use. Take a seat. And prepare yourself for your practice, settling in, softening your body even as you lengthen your spine, and beginning to deepen your breath. We'll be using the Dirga Pranayam for this practice. Begin to inhale into your belly, your low ribs, your chest. When you're completely full, use your belly, drawing it in and especially up to move your breath out. As you inhale, take your arms overhead. As you exhale, release them back down, finding sun breaths in rhythm with your dirga breath. Inhales, taking the arms up. Exhales, taking the arms back down. Following your own flow, as you begin to loosen and lubricate the shoulders, turn your awareness inside. With your next inhale, take just your right arm up, walking your left hand out to the side and finding a nice side stretch, lengthening from the right hip to the fingertips. Breathing into your side body. And using an inhale to bring yourself all the way back up before exhaling that right arm down. Your next inhale, take your left arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, walk your right hand to the side. Seeking that side stretch now on the left side. Letting your breath stretch you from the inside out. With your next inhale, walk your right hand towards your body. Exhale your left arm all the way down. Take your hands around behind you, supporting, supporting the length of your torso and bring the soles of your feet to your mat wide apart. With each exhale, take your knees to one side and Look over the opposite shoulder. With each inhale, bring your knees back to center. Moving back and forth with your breath. So you begin to loosen the hips and check in with your low back. Your knees next come to center. Bring yourself back to seated, reversing the cross of your legs. Inhale your arms halfway up and bring your fingertips to your shoulders. As you exhale, twist to one side 
As you inhale, come back to center, exhaling to the other side and so on. Using your fingertips on your shoulders to remind the shoulders to relax. Keeping your upper arms parallel with the floor as best you can. Opening up a little more space in that shoulder joint. Reminding your spine that it does like to twist. Now releasing your arms all the way back down. Transition yourself to all fours. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And as you exhale, take your hips back towards your heels. As you inhale, come to all fours, dropping your belly and chest. Exhaling to take the hips towards the heels, child's pose, inhaling to all fours, dropping the belly and chest, making your way back and forth. And then finally, as you sink your hips towards your heels, bring your torso all the way up, arms forward. And as you exhale, lean back. As you inhale, come back up. Every time you lean back, you're lengthening from the knees to the head, body one long line. Warming up your quads in the front of the thighs, challenging your core a little bit more. When you come to center next, return your hands back down to the floor. Lift your left knee, knee bent and foot flexed and begin to circle in the hip. Big, slow circles, really warming up those hip joints. It only takes a few here, so reverse your direction, making sure you make it into the nooks and crannies here with fire hydrant pose. Releasing your knee back down, lifting the right knee, and beginning to circle in the hip, knee bent, foot flexed, finding your largest range of motion. Releasing that knee all the way back down Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up high and find downward facing dog, lengthening your spine and walking your heels one up as the other comes down, opening up the backs of your legs, the soles of your feet. After one more big long stretch, walk your feet forward, coming into a forward fold, all of your weight in your feet. Or so hanging from your hips for a moment before you open your arms and come all the way up with a flat back. Well, if you aren't already there, turn sideways on your mat and make sure you are on the right hand side of your mat. And we'll begin our moon salutations moving slowly through them. A long, steady, dirga breath here. As you inhale your arms overhead, shoulders drop down. And as you exhale, take your hips to one side, your shoulders to the other side, keeping your weight even in your feet as you make an arc with your body. As you inhale, come back to center. And as you exhale, prepare to move to the other side. Hips one way, shoulders the other, pressing into the feet to find your length. Inhale. 
Inhaling back to center, step your left foot out wide, bending your knees, toes out, arms out to the side with the elbows bent, finding goddess pose, remembering that the lower you sink, the more you challenge yourself. Then turning the toes forward, arms out wide, five-pointed star pose, lengthening into your limbs. Turning your right toes out, your left toes in slightly. Hinge at your hips to bring your right hand downward towards that right foot. Triangle pose with the left arm overhead. Lengthening through the side body, especially the side waist. Then turning towards that right foot. Squaring and leveling your hips. Coming into Parvottanasana, intense side stretch. Stepping that left foot back, bending your front knee, finding a lunge with a long line from your left heel all the way up to the top of your head. You're going to take both hands to the inside of that right foot and turn all ten toes to the side. Finding your way into a side lunge. Remember it's okay if your heel is up or if your heel is down, your bottom is up, your bottom is down. It should just feel right for you. Pressing down into both feet, lift your hips to center. Rupa Vista Kanasana, the wide angle forward fold. Legs are strong. Torso hangs from the hips. Then walking your hands over towards that left foot, find your side lunge on this side. Adjusting as you need to so that your knees, your ankles, your inner thighs feel really good here. Then turning to the left and finding a regular lunge here, one long line from that back heel, that's your right heel, to the top of your head. Stepping that right foot forward slightly, just enough that you can ground your heel. Press your front leg towards straight. Parsvottanasana, intense side stretch once more. Hips moving towards level and square. You may need to step that back foot back a little bit more as you turn now to the side to find your triangle pose, opening the hips and the shoulders to the right. Strong legs and a strong back pull you all the way to five-pointed star. Arms wide, feet firm. Then we turn the toes out slightly and bend the elbows to 90 degrees. Bending the knees. Sinking the hips down, seeing if we can keep the back perpendicular with the floor here in our goddess pose. From goddess, we step the feet over to the left side of the mat, coming back into mountain pose with the arms overhead. Grounding the feet and then shifting the hips to one side, shoulders to the other, Finding half moon pose. When we've opened one side with those long dirga breaths, draw everything back to center, pausing in the center, remembering what neutral is, and then shifting the hips to the other side. Half moon to the second side before coming all the way back to mountain pose, bringing the palms together, 
sinking the hands in front of the heart, centering yourself, noticing how you feel after your first round, and then moving right into the next round, arms overhead, hips to one side, shoulders to the other, half moon. Drawing yourself back to center and shifting to half moon to the other side, resisting the urge to twist in any way. Drawing yourself back to center and stepping that right foot out wide, sinking into goddess pose. Pressing your knees back behind you, seeing if you can align them with the toes right over the ankles, but pointing in the same direction as your toes. Then turning the toes forward, the knees forward, reach the arms long, the legs long into five pointed star. Five-pointed star, we move once more into Trikonasana Triangle, turning the toes to the left, folding over that left leg. Bringing your shoulders towards stacked right over that left leg. Turning yourself towards that left leg, stepping your back foot forward if you need to, to ground the heels for Parsvottanasana. your spine lengthen. Bend the knee as you need to to bring the fingertips to the floor and step that right foot back to find your lunge. Lengthen your spine here. Breathe that deep, dear Gabra. And then turn all ten toes to the side and find your side lunge. Lengthen your spine. Press into that extended foot. Then pressing into your left foot. Press your leg towards straight and find Upavista Kanasana again, folding forward. Wide angle forward fold. The midpoint of the flow. Shifting your hands over towards your right foot, bending the right knee, finding side lunge. See if you can bring just as much weight over into that left foot as you have now in the right foot. Then turning all ten toes to the right. Facing the short end of your mat in your lunge. The back foot steps forward to ground the heel. The front leg presses towards straight. Parsvottanasana once more. Hips level and square as you elongate, particularly in the low back. That left foot steps back to open you into your triangle pose, bringing shoulders towards stacked, bringing hips towards stacked. Pulling yourself all the way up to five-pointed star. Turning all your toes to the long end of your mat. Lengthening even your neck here. Then turning the toes out, bending the elbows to 90 degrees with your palms forward, goddess pose. Sink into the challenge here. Breathe into the challenge.
Stepping now over to the right side of your mat, mountain pose into half moon pose, hips to one side, shoulders to the other, body sides long. Drawing yourself to neutral, to mountain, and then over to the other side of half moon pose. Coming back to center, place the palms together and draw your hands down in front of your heart. Having gone slow through the flow twice, once in each direction, traveling like the moon across the sky. Now we'll begin to move with the breath. That means we're going to start going a little bit faster. So as you inhale, take your arms up into mountain pose. Exhale into your half moon. Inhale back to center. Exhale into half moon, second side. Inhaling to center. Exhale to step your feet wide, goddess pose. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhaling triangle to the right. Inhaling, Parsvottanasana. Exhaling, lunge. Inhaling, side lunge. Exhaling, wide angle fold. Inhaling, side lunge, left knee bends. Exhaling, lunge. Inhaling, Parsvottanasana. Exhale to open into your triangle. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, sink into goddess. Inhale, mountain to the left. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, center. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, center. Palms together in front of your heart. Deepen, lengthen your dirga breath. As you next inhale, take your arms up, mountain pose. Exhaling, half moon. Inhaling to center. Exhaling to the other side. Inhale to center. Step wide, goddess pose as you exhale. Inhale into five pointed star. Exhaling, triangle to the left. Inhaling, Parsvottanasana. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, wide angle fold. Inhale, side lunge to the right. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, Parsvottanasana. Exhale to open into your triangle. Inhale, five pointed star and exhale, goddess. Inhaling mountain to the right. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, mountain. Exhale your hands down in front of your heart. Dirga breath. Long and deep. Grounding through your feet. Inhaling into the belly. Low ribs, chest. Drawing your belly in and up to move your breath out. With your next inhale, arms overhead mountain. Exhaling half moon. Inhaling to center. Exhaling half moon. Inhaling to center, exhaling to step wide, goddess pose. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhaling, triangle to the right. Inhaling, Parsvottanasana. As you draw the belly in to exhale, find your lunge. 
Inhale, side lunge. Exhaling, wide angle fold. Inhaling, side lunge to the left. As you exhale, find lunge. Inhale, Parsvottanasana. Exhaling into your triangle. Inhaling, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, mountain to the left. Exhaling, half moon. Inhaling to center. Exhaling, half moon. Inhaling to center. Exhaling your hands in front of your heart. Grounding your feet. Deepening, lengthening your breath. Inhaling the arms overhead, mountain. Exhaling, half moon. Inhaling to mountain. Exhaling, half moon. Inhale to center and step your feet wide. Exhaling, goddess. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, triangle to the left. Inhale, Parsvottanasana, fold. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, side lunge. Exhaling, wide angle, fold. Inhaling, side lunge to the right. Exhaling, lunge. Inhaling, Parsvottanasana. Exhaling, Triangle. Inhaling, Five-Pointed Star. Exhaling, Goddess. Inhaling, Mountain to the right. Exhaling, Half Moon. Inhaling, Mountain. Exhaling, Half Moon. Inhaling to Mountain. Drawing the palms together in front of your heart. We've made it through our flow. Notice how you feel as we prepare to move back down to our mat. To transition, inhale your arms overhead. As you exhale, fold all the way forward facing the short end of your mat. Lengthening your spine and then beginning to bend your knees. Bring your bottom all the way down to your mat. Extend your legs out long, feet hip width apart is a good place to start. Bring your right foot to the floor on either the inside or the outside of that extended left leg. Pressing into both feet and the bony protrusions of your bottom. Wrap your left arm around your right knee. Draw the right arm up. Then with an exhale, twist to the right. Bringing that back arm down, broaden your shoulders. Lengthen the spine straight up out of your mat. Finding yourself in Matsyandrasana, the spinal twist. Wringing out what's left of your efforts, what's left of your tension. Now drawing that back arm up, unwind your body, stretch your legs out, make any adjustments you need to, and we'll move to the other side. Bending your left knee, placing the foot on either side of that extended leg, right hand around that bent knee. Strong legs help hold your torso up here. Drawing your left arm up, lengthening the sides of the body and twisting towards that bent knee. Let your breath take you deeper into your posture here. Inhaling from the bottom up, lengthening the spine. And as you draw the belly into exhale, you might twist deeper. 
Your head turns however it feels good. Mmm, the twist. Lifting that back arm. Unwind, turning yourself forward and stretching both legs out. Shift as you need to on your mat to be able to lie down comfortably. Placing the soles of your feet on the floor. Hip width apart and near to your bottom. Your arms are tight to your sides, shoulder blades moving towards your spine. As you inhale, press into the feet to lift the hips upward. And as you exhale, roll your back down, rolling bridges. Every inhale, pressing the hips upward. And as you exhale, rolling down as if you could touch your low back before you touch your bottom. Letting this massage your spine as you move here with your breath. If you'd like more challenge, lift your arms up towards the sky and then by your ears as you lift your hips up and then returning by the same path as you lower your back down. This variation will help open the side body more and massage along the spine of your shoulder blade. But if this bothers your neck at all, it is not worth it. It is not your pose today. So keep your arms supportively by your sides. Now holding the hips up, lengthening your front body, drawing your shoulder blades down your back. Lowering your back all the way down. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms away from your head. Arms by your ears, legs long, reach out through your soles, out through your palms. Empty lake bed pose. After each exhale, send your low back ribs down towards the floor and hold the breath out, hollowing the belly slightly. Pausing just for as long as it feels good, then taking an inhale. Repeating again after your exhale. After your next exhale, release your arms, release the effort in the legs, and adjust your body to find a relaxing position. Placing anything you need to be comfortable, whether that be supports under your knees or your head, or a blanket to keep you warm. Let your body grow soft on your mat as you release all control of your breath. Let your mind drift, your awareness exploring your internal landscape. And know that doing nothing is the most productive part of Shavasana, our final relaxation pose. So practice just letting yourself be. just here, just now, just as you are.
begin now to deepen your breath. Letting your breath grow into movement as it feels good. Stretching into the new openness of your body. Eventually rolling yourself to one side and taking a pause there. This eases the transition both for your body and your mind. Wait until you truly feel ready before you press yourself all the way back up to seated. Thank you for sharing this practice today. Namaste. Jai Bhagwan.